So here's another one of uh, Tesla Unmer's high frequency circuits and I've got it running at 31 volts right now and this setup is basically more like an actual SSTC um, but it's got a primary and a feedback and I've just kind of got them randomly placed there right now but it's just a one turn feedback and it's a more or less a two turn primary and you've got three caps uh, plus you know one one DC on the input uh, Zener a couple one K's and a yeah, I'm using a 3k pot and what's cool about this circuit is this is what it's pulling at, at the max voltage I can feed it right now and um, that's like 100, 100 milliamps but um thing is you could tune it up into a higher uh, current draw where it does put out a stronger field but this particular coil it's just the uh, arc isn't as, isn't as strong so I can draw out a little arc but you can see um, it's, then it starts pulling up closer to a couple amps you know but it's you're able to pull a really hot arc a really hot um, high frequency arc Whew! I guess this bulb <clears throat> really hot too Well, that's kind of cool. Um, using this same circuit, I was able to get this coil going, and it actually spit out a little plasma arc. It wasn't that impressive, um, but uh, man, just holding it, I <laughs> got a little next to the coil. I got a little burn off the end here, um, but it was also pulling very low power. But at, at max voltage, the uh, arc just wasn't all that impressive, but. It did break out on its own. That's probably due to the uh, number of turns on there. But you can feed it more voltage. That's probably how that would work. Crank up the uh, gate a little bit to see what happens. So, you get to a point where it's not as impressive. Obviously, using this uh, holds a pretty good arc. <laughs> yeah, such low power. It's pretty cool. So if I put it at something like I don't know, let's put it like 15 volts. It's still going, um, but just sort of have a baby arc there this is just a random coil though just sort of showing the circuit it's pretty cool of course as you can see with this setup even at 30 volts there's no breakout but probably feed it up to 60 according to the uh, schematic at which point probably would be pretty damn impressive the uh, circuit that I pulled off the internet uh, you can sort of see <laughs> down there they did credit Tesla on there uh, but this came off some uh, some website that was in Chinese. I think I can't you know, I can't read it. But uh, his Tesla's Tesla Unmer's website has been down for a little while, so it's kind of hard to find all his schematics. But he's got some pretty awesome ones. <clears throat> so this is the one I was using. See, pretty basic. I just threw mine together using. I pretty much matched this, you know, I had a 20 nanofarad at about 2.5 and then about a 1.8 threw that on there to uh, 1Ks as well as a 3K pot and I used a 10 volt Zener and um, that's what I ended up with so as you can see this is, uh, these are his specs up to 60 volts so I, it seems pretty cool to me at, at what I'm pulling at 30 volts um, being able to crank it up to 60 with the right coil it looks to me like you can get some pretty awesome output for uh, with very high efficiency um, so I'll probably be working on that at some point see if I can get some awesome plasma flame uh, 
without having to crank, you know, uh, 100 watts or something like that. Uh, it's probably possible. 5 megahertz is probably <laughs> more around where I need to shoot for instead of like 15 or higher. But uh, yeah, pretty cool circuit. And you need to have this capacitor for it to, uh, at least for mine, to start oscillating. And the thing is, uh, what I noticed is um, the feedback. I mean, I've just got the one turn sort of just laying on top of the primary, but until that actually starts kicking in and oscillating, the circuit tends to draw quite a bit, you know, several amps, something like that. And once you see it oscillate, you know, for example, maybe lighting up a fluoro, it just bumps way down, you know, for me, like 100 milliamps. So it, it did the same thing with the uh, other, uh, other coil I tried. So it does seem like it has the uh, possibility to be super efficient, so that's cool.